Now that we've been streaming for about two hours, let's get into scrapped content that I originally wanted to make and then never ended up making. The first thing I want to talk about is Into the Pit. Into the Pit came out 17 days ago and I streamed it and I plan on playing the entire game as much of, of the game as I could on stream. But I hadn't gotten any sleep the night before. I was awake for 35 hours straight. Because I was so tired, I wasn't that energetic throughout the stream, so I decided just not to turn it into videos. Now, I think I might still do a video on Into the Pit, but like like a stream highlights video, not, not multiple videos of a playthrough, just kind of like funny moments from throughout the stream. That I might do at some point, I'm not 100% sure though. On that, that stream, I also plan on doing a lot of other things, but one thing that I wanted to do was react to just other random stuff that was going to come out that day, because it was the FNAF anniversary. And one thing that I wanted to react to was the CG5 and uh, Map Hat song, I think, that they made. Another time, uh, back when I did the Resident Evil 4 randomizer stream with Evan Agredano, I wanted to make that into a stream highlights video, but it was a 10-hour video, so that would have just been absolute hell to edit, because my editing software would have just broken completely. There's also some Fazbear Frights content I wanted to do. I wanted to do a video on the breaking wheel and a video on Blackbird. Blackbird, I didn't have a plan beforehand. I wanted to just reread it, talk about the details in it, and then uh, come up with a theory based on it. But I never really had an idea of what that theory that I would talk about would be. So I kind of just never did it. And then the Breaking Wheel one, the idea was that it was all fake, basically. That Julius never actually died, because they said multiple times in the story that the remote didn't work that far. It wouldn't have reached the school. But... Uh, Reed was still really worried about it, so basically the idea was that Julius was perfectly fine, but Reed's fear of something happening is what manifested into Julius actually coming to kill him. So the real Julius is, is alive, but that thing was just like an agony creature, basically, is what the idea was. But I just never ended up making that video. I plan on making a video soon, though. Uh, I recorded it like a month ago, but I never uh, finished it because I had to get some videos done before the FNAF anniversary. But I'm going to do a video in the future on what every fright story is trying to tell you basically what every fright story basically means for the store for the lore so i haven't uh, uh edited that much of that yet I, I edited like three minutes of it back before the anniversary when i first recorded it and i just never uh continued i'm planning on splitting that into two videos the first half of frights and the second half of frights and that's what i'm going to talk about uh, for the breaking wheel part i'm going to basically talk about how i think it's fake also in january this year poppy playtime chapter 3 came out and i made videos on it i tried to stream it and the stream didn't work and then i made videos on it i liked poppy playtime chapter 3 not as much as other people did though i actually still like chapter 2 better but chapter 3 is definitely scarier and i liked it a lot i just thought that some of the puzzles were a little bit strange and like not that intuitive in some areas so what i wanted to do was like a review of it basically and the title of the video would have been poppy plates on chapter three is all right <laughs> that's what it would have, it would have been called i just never ended up making it i was also thinking about making a poppy plates on chapter three theory but i feel like the chapter didn't really create that many mysteries for a theory to be made it kind of just explained a lot of stuff more so so i didn't really think that there was that there was that much to theorize about and it was stuff that people theorized and what what it explained was stuff that people theorized about regardless like before chapter three came out so there was nothing really for me to, to cover so i never really did that uh moving on i had a couple b7 videos uh the first b7 video was called b7's unseen connection to william afton it's not really unseen i actually talked about it in my summary video a while ago basically the idea is that b7 is kind of connected to william afton the story is about a kid named billy who wants to be an animatronic and William Afton is named Billy, technically, because Billy is short for William, and he basically wants to be an animatronic. So the idea was basically that, that they were connected. There was also a video I wanted to do about the controversy of B7 being, like, transphobic, but then I was like, that might get me cancelled, no matter what I say. So I'm gonna not, I'm gonna not do that. Moving on, I plan on, on doing a stream of Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, and then I heard the reviews of it, and I was like, yeah, never mind, so I don't need, <laughs> I don't need to stream this. Last year, Map had made a FNAF timeline. I was thinking about making a video covering it, like giving my opinions on it overall, called Matt Pat's FNAF Timeline Revisited, but I never really ended up doing that. Another video I wanted to do was remaking old video thumbnails. Now this is one I might do at some point, but it's just kind of like a weird concept that I don't think really is that interesting. It's basically just like old videos I used to not... Basically what I used to make my thumbnails is Photop, which is basically like discount Photoshop pretty much. It's basically Photoshop, but it's a website and it's free. So that's what I used to make my thumbnails nowadays. I used to make my thumbnails with just like random images 
on, I think it was like Fonto or something like that. It was like a photo editor um, and it was really bad. And then I started using this thing called PixArt, which which I think I still have on my phone, but it's not very good either. So basically, that, that's what I used to use to make my thumbnails and then I moved over to Photopea. So what I wanted to do was like remake old video thumbnails in my current style of thumbnail, basically. Uh, another video I wanted to do was The Walking Dead All Seasons Ranked. The reason I never ended up doing this was just because I didn't think people would really care about me doing that. Like, I didn't think it mattered if I did that, so I just never ended up doing it. I can tell you what the order was, though. What I did, basically, is not... Uh, judge the seasons overall, but I literally rewatched the entire show for the third time and I ranked every single episode. I numbered each one. So I counted up all the numbers from each season and the, and the season with the lowest number after being added up was the best one because it, it, it was like basically the average of which ones were the best and which ones were the worst pretty much and if you had less points then you did better the season with the least points meaning the best season was season six then season nine which was surprising considering that's when rick left but i think it's mostly because my favorite episode is in season nine then season five then season three then season seven, then season eight, which surprised me because seven and eight are, are the ones that people like the least. But I think there was a lot, there was a lot of bad episodes in those seasons, but there was a, a lot of good in them. That's why they're kind of midway through. Then there's season four, then season one, then season two, then season 11, and then season 10 as the worst, which is weird to think about because I originally said that season 10 was one of my favorites. I really liked it, but apparently not that much. <laughs> I wanted to do a timeline theory for Fazbear Frights. I never ended up doing it uh, by itself, but I ended up doing kind of not really theories on the timeline of Fazbear Frights, but basically just a timeline with Fazbear Frights included. And I made videos on like stitch line games and stuff like that, like theories on them. Basically the, the idea that it would be true. I don't think that it's that, it's that complicated. It's not, it, the, the stories kind of spell everything out for you for the most part. Uh, some things are a little bit mysterious, like actually where Eleanor came from and stuff like that, but that's also not that that hard to figure out. Or like, there's, there's theories on it that are pretty strong. So I didn't think I really needed to make a theory on that. And eventually I just made a timeline with it included and videos on Stitch Line games and stuff like that. So it didn't, it didn't seem necessary. The next three, four, five, actually, <laughs> the next five are YouTube shorts that I made or that I was thinking about making. The first one is uh, a review of The Last of Us show. Uh, not much to really say about it. I've actually played The Last of Us now. When I, when I wrote the review and when I watched the show, I hadn't watched The Last of Us yet. And then I streamed it uh, and played through the whole game. So now that I've played The Last of Us game... I obviously like the game better than the show, but I think that there's some things in the show that they did better. Like, I think the storyline with Henry and Sam was actually even better in the show. Not that much better, but I think it was done a little bit better. I think it was a lot, like, more interesting, and I think episode 5, in general, was the best episode of the show. I found evidence for a theory I don't believe. It was basically about BV5. I don't really remember exactly what it was. I think the main idea was that Gregory seemed to be seems to have connections to the bite victim so basically bv5 is a theory that the bite victim died in the bite of 83 and then was revived and then died in the missing children incident or alternatively the missing children incident happened before the bite of 83 he died in that and then was revived and then died in the bite too uh so basically the bite victim in most cases is cassidy under this theory so basically the idea was that the bite victim and gregory were connected whether literally or symbolically and there's some connections between the two that are made interesting at the beginning of the game like early in the game there's a part where you can see four staff bots standing over one that's on the ground which kind of mirrored the bite of 83 mini game where the four bullies are standing around the bite victim who's on the ground and then right before that freddy tells gregory that he's broken like the Fredbear Flush does in FNAF 4 to the bite victim. And then right before that, Gregory's actually inside Freddy, which has a lot of connect who and, and Glamour Freddy has a lot of connections to Golden Freddy. So the idea was that this connect this could connect to the bite victim possessing Golden Freddy and being inside him in a way. But if you look at these events, they all happen in the same order they happen to the bite victim, only backwards. At first, he ends up uh right right before the bite of 83, and then after the bite of 80 like right before the bite of 83 with the with the bullies around him and him on the ground and then it, it leads to the Fred Flushy telling him he's broken and then him ending, ending up in Golden Freddy and that that happens to Gregory but backwards right so at the end of the game the fact that Vanny kidnaps Gregory like like Afton kidnaps the missing children that was interesting to me because it indicated that the bite victim was a missing child and that he was kidnapped before the bite of 83 even happened so that's kind of the idea that I had 
I don't believe that, but I think it's an interesting connection. So yeah, that, I wanted to make a short about that. Another short I wanted to make was the one problem with Spider-Man Miles Morales. And basically the idea was that normal attacks don't feel as powerful as they do in Spider-Man, in the first Spider-Man game. Basically, uh, like his attacks just feel a lot weaker. There's not as much of like an impact sound effect. And like the actual like design of like the attacks don't seem like they, like they hurt as much basically. And obviously he's like a weaker Spider-Man, not really weaker because he has the by electricity but it just like feels like in terms of strength he's not as powerful and it's just not as fun because it doesn't feel as it, it's just not as fun because you don't, you don't feel as powerful but the venom abilities do make him feel a lot more powerful and i like that another short that i wanted to make was talking about the into the pit game when it was first announced but then we got more information on it so i just made a video on it i'm pretty sure i think i made a video on it another short that i wanted to make the last short was uh about people misunderstanding the fnaf movie basically there was reviews a, a lot of reviews basically saying that people weren't going to the fnaf movie for like a family drama and that's a lot of what we got and basically what i wanted to wanted to make a short about was saying that that's literally exactly what the lore of fnaf is so that that is what people want to see in the fnaf movie i i just didn't get around to actually making it and then i didn't feel like it afterwards next up was a a stream that i wanted to make on the Resident Evil 2 remake Ghost Survivors DLC. I played each one of them more recently, but I played the first one and I kind of rage quit because I because I got annoyed. I wanted to make a video about me rereading every single Fazbear Fright story and me rereading every Tales from the Pizzaplex story. Separate from the videos on like everything that they're trying to tell you, but instead me just explaining all the all the little details that I notice in each story. I ended up not doing that just because it's a lot of work to read 60 stories <laughs> so i just never wanted to do that another video that I, another video that i wanted to make was my top five favorite movies of all time i made a video on valentine's day on my top five favorite video games of all time and i was thinking about making more top five videos about like my favorite or actually I did top 10 video games of all time but i wanted to do like top type top five videos on my favorite movies and my favorite tv shows but i never ended up doing that uh just because that uh favorite games video didn't do that well so i didn't think that, that like there was really a point in making this one but i can tell you guys what my favorite movies are my favorite movie is the is the 2017 remake of it my second favorite movie is star wars revenge of the sith my third favorite movie is spider-man no way home my fourth favorite movie is spider-man into the spider-verse which i think is better than no way home but i like no way home better if that makes sense and my fifth favorite movie is the perks of being a wallflower very diff very big switch up between those <laughs> but yeah uh and my favorite tv shows of all time Number one is The Walking Dead, number two is Daredevil, number three is Breaking Bad, number four is Gotham, and number five is The Boys. Um, recently, I've, recently, like like now, I've been watching through How I Met Your Mother. I'm on season seven right now. It's not in my top five, but it's def definitely an honorable mention. It's really good. Moving on, it's a stream that I wanted to do was Ennard's Night from Sister Location. I just never ended up, ended, never ended up doing that. And there was some Tales from the Pizza Box videos that I wanted to do, uh, one on Cleetrophobia and one on the Storyteller. I just never, never ended up doing that. Uh, another video I wanted to do was I watched the same movie every day for a month. Basically, I wanted to watch one movie once a day for an entire month and just like note like how much i think about the, the the story of the movie more and like how my perception of the movie changes like do i get sick of it over time and do i or do i like it more do i do i notice more little things about the movie that i that make me appreciate it more that's kind of the idea that i wanted to do it was kind of like a fun ex a, a fun thought experiment that i had that i just never ended up doing and i probably won't ever do it it's just kind of a weird idea that i kind of wanted to do but i never ended up doing it another video was a reaction to behind the mask by Docco and ap ap angry piggy i just never ended up doing that i don't know why i didn't end up doing that i just didn't i i ended up scrapping this video because of matt pat's retirement it was basically a video trying to say that people are too harsh on matt pat i get that people don't like a lot of his theories and that's fine but people are too harsh on him himself rather than just the theories that he makes a lot of people say that he's like going crazy because of the theories that he makes that's not how it works he's just a theorist he's trying to think outside the box and that makes sense i don't like a lot of his theories but that doesn't mean that there's like something wrong with him right and a lot of people kind of mix up him and his theories like they, they kind of blend them together and if you don't like his theories and a lot of people don't like him himself and i don't think that that's fair so I just wanted to make a video kind of addressing that, and I ended up not doing that because MatPat retired, so I didn't feel like I had to. Help Wanted 2 came out in December, and I wanted and I made videos on it. I made I think eight videos, 
and I wanted to do a video compiling like my favorite moments from those videos, but I just never ended up doing that. I also wanted to play Doki Doki Literature, Literature Club Plus. Shadow Libra kept telling me to play that, and then I never ended up playing it. I have it, and I will play it eventually, but probably on my own time, not on stream or a video or anything like that. And that's everything. That those are all the, That's all the scrap content that I've had the idea to make and then never did. There will probably be more over time, um, and maybe I'll make a sequel to this video if, if, if there's enough uh, videos that I scrap in the future. But yeah, that's everything.